Yo, what is up, guys? I wanted to hit you with my finds tonight. Right here, we got this Porsche uh, Cayenne Turbo. Just a little SUV. Nothing crazy, but I got a cool little Porsche collection. Did find this Mazda RX-8. I thought this was pretty sick to add to my uh, Matchbox wall. Then, right here, I've been kind of eyeballing this set. Kind of in love with those earlier Evos. This one's a little later generation. I mean, I like it still, but I love the early, early Evos. But uh, still pretty sick. Even the, uh, even the Eclipse is pretty sick. Uh, it doesn't say if it's like a higher model, but I believe it would be, um, you know, like a top trim level. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to give you guys a look at that. It's just so, so sick. Such a beautiful casting. And lastly, I wanted to show you, we got these three Lancia, uh, Stratus. I'm going to call them Stratus. Probably not how you say it, but, uh, pretty, pretty neat. I don't know if I've come across this set before, but the craziest thing is that price tag. Three, three, three. How do you beat that? So, just want to show you uh, my haul tonight, and uh, I'll see y'all soon. For whatever reason, I actually thought that this Alfa Romeo was red, so I do have the number one out of the five in the series, but like I said, just still cool to find it for $3. Well, this is a new one. In the towel aisle, I couldn't even find this. Tons and tons of the Boulevard Cruisers, which is pretty sick to see. Well, it seems the day has come. I actually really like this Volvo wagon, but we have someone coming to pick this up. So I'm gonna show you the other cars in his order so far. This is the customer's order so far. So he's picking up this Volvo 850 Estate, this Volvo 240 Drift Wagon, and these two BMWs, actually out of my personal collection. I think these are pretty sick, and uh, hope I don't regret selling this one. I believe I might have the full set. Maybe? I can't quite remember, but it's okay. I, I'm not a big fan of the backing card. It, like having the Datsun 240, 280, or Nissan 240, 280 on the back. Just doesn't make sense when you have a BMW. It's like an Easter special. And uh, I'm not too crazy about the BMWs, so I was cool with letting them go. Uh, just, just these ones. I mean, they don't really fit anything I have. I like the stripes on the side of that one. I do have a couple other cool BMWs kind of just hanging out up here. I like the E36s a lot. I like the, the Chase no-name one. I was going to offer him this one, but I think having it with the Chase car is pretty sick. Guess I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll rearrange these for you guys, make it make a little more sense. But, uh, yeah, so that was kind of my my theory on the whole thing. Let's get these all together. Let's get these all together. Nice, nice, nice. I'll rearrange it better in a few. But, uh, yeah, just to show you, it's pretty cool. And now I got some filler cards I'm going to put here until we find something cool to put in their spot. So, cool enough today, I figured I'd show you this content. We have someone coming to pick up right this second, this Ghostbusters. I think it's like the 59 Cadillac. A uh, wagon and the, the DeLorean from Back to the Future 3. So what's up guys, got a bit of a neat video right now. So I just went out to the store and I picked up quite a few really cool things. This is like the highlight car of all the things I picked up. It is a 73 Chevy C10, just slammed. But what I love is the Coca-Cola Japanese writing. Like that is just so sick. It says LT4 supercharged, it's Yokohama like livery it's just so nasty like what a cool cool car to have in my collection like this is something i'm definitely gonna hold on to and uh cool thing is with like these c10s i honestly should have picked up more um they are again another appreciating asset not a financial advisor by any means but i mean can't go wrong with a c10 and uh it's pretty cool so we've gotten these two porsches one is the 914 6 and uh Right here, I am in love with the 71 Porsche 911. And that also means that I have completed my set. We got the 356 Speedster, 718 Cayman GT4, the black 944. And I believe that's all the cars in the set. Almost forgot about the Porsche 935. Arguably one of the best cars in the set. I'm loving the orange uh, 911, but... This 356 Speedster, I think, takes the cake for the set. Let me know which one you think is the coolest. But as we move back over to here, I don't know. This 911 is another good contender. I really, really like this car. We have this blue Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Uh, we got a Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. A little uh, red with gold wheels. Matchbox actually did a good job with this car. I've been, I think Matchbox has kind of been slacking a little bit lately. But uh, we got this cool little... Mazda AutoZam. I actually recently learned that Mazda made the AutoZam. I actually uh, wasn't too sure who made it. And then again, we have just been like knocking it out of the park with these Porsches. This is a just beautiful car from the Ultra Hot set. 
orange metallic gold wheels it's just this is this is a cool 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 car um usually i sleep on these like weird fast and the furious cars uh i mean it's a land rover um it's okay it's kind of cool i do have a decent fast and furious collection so i figured i might as well grab this and add it into the collection and uh in this video you'll see like we've been selling premiums and other cars and things like that i mean i've just been buying and selling hot wheels like crazy and uh i sold off some premiums as of lately so right now this is some of my fast and the furious collection up on the wall it goes all the way over and up and up here i keep most of my premiums i just don't have any more space on my walls but it's slowly been thinning out so like right there we got an open space back there we now have an open space uh usually i fill things right away but we just sold those two cars uh the other day so when i put the fast and furious car up probably gonna push it uh probably gonna place this somewhere up or down here with the other fast and the furious cars and move something back up to the uh, ceiling and again, same goes for this 70 Chevelle. I have like four, three or four other 70 Chevelle castings. I mean, it's a cool car, but Hot Wheels got to stop releasing this Fast and Furious 70 Chevelle. I mean, we've seen it like a thousand times now. It's the same car, just different backgrounds. And I mean, yeah, you know, I bought it because it goes with a set, but I don't know. It's just not all that crazy. And then we get the OG Lamb truck, the LM002 pretty sick this is a cool casting for matchbox and i love to see it also in other hot wheels news i did not know that this car was a little bit of a chase car currently uh, i guess when they released the porsche set you could find these five but the uh 914-6 was nowhere to be found so out of nowhere i've been seeing these go for quite a bit of money 20 40 bucks easily which is just insane um would have made more sense if, like i said if it was something cool like that the 914 is cool but i mean you know it's it's a it's an odd car for sure but i guess it's been a little bit of a chase so something to keep your uh your eyes open for yo what's up guys so i want to give you a quick look at these um a little hard to see because they are so shiny but these are from a 2004 series uh the series one specifically called the hot wheels classics and they're pretty sick i mean they're pretty heavy cars with metal bases and all of them are painted in beautiful spectra flame paint and they are sick i've seen a lot of these if you go on ebay they're all going for like 25 to 35 dollars a piece which is insane i do have two of the cool classics which are uh in a blue form i think they're more of like a chase style i'll have to show you a picture of them but i'm probably gonna list these maybe on my japanese underscore mini truck 2 instagram and uh maybe i'll start listing some cars for sale on there i'm not too too sure just yet but uh if I do, keep an eye out, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at these, because they are pretty sick. I had them all laid out uh, the other day, but uh, I just posted them on Marketplace, and just wanted to show them, because they are that sick. Well, lastly, here's another quick look, just so you can see the uh, cards and cars. Lots of 57 Chevys. I am in love with the gold. Uh, some Plymouth GTXs, a Malibu, Pontiac GTOs. This one uh, has a terribly damaged car, but very sick bus. And some Chevy Nomads, the Gold Thunderbird, and some Corvettes. So over here is a look at the Hot Wheels Cool Classics. And I have the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe and the 67 Pontiac Firebird. Uh, honestly, I think these are cars that I may keep in my collection. Because I believe these are worth, uh, these are worth some money. But I think these are worth uh, a little bit more um, just being on the more collectible side of things. So <clears throat> I think they're super cool though. And I also have a Z, which I'll show you real quick. And that is the Datsun 240Z. So what a cool way to end off the video. We have this going out to a customer right now. A little bit of mix match, but still pretty cool about that same style. It's the Tonka truck with the Buddy L Coca-Cola trailer. And uh, guess I'm going to finish off this video with this beautiful sunset. Check this out. We got uh, the my little brother's Monte Carlo, the purple truck, and my black truck just chilling. And uh, thanks y'all so much for checking out today's video. If you want to see some more content in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.